Please hear it. Remember the promise. Hallelujah. Father God, we honor you and bless you because it is your goodness that we are gathered together today. Because of your faithfulness, we are gathered together today, Lord God. Because of who you are, we are gathered, Lord, here. And even as we come in the presence of your name, in the presence of yours, Lord God, we're asking you that you will spread, Lord God, yourself upon each one of us. You will spread yourself, you will spread your mantle, Lord God. You will spread, and then, Lord God, your wings, Lord God, for the word of God says that the whosoever runs under the wings of the Almighty, under the shadow of the Almighty. So, Lord God, we're running right now under your shadow. We're running right now under your shadow. The things that have grabbed us, Lord God. The things that has gripped on us, Lord God. The things that have burdened us, Lord God. We run under your shadow to have rest, to have rest, even to have rest right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We're coming in the name of Jesus Christ. Again, every spirit in the atmosphere. If we go against every spirit in the atmosphere Lord God yes, against Lord. every works of the enemy yes. against every works of the adversary against every works Lord God of the demons Lord God we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ we break the root of it in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. we release Lord God the atmosphere Amen. Lord God to be charged with your spirit yes, to be yes. charged with your name yes. to be charged with your blood yes. to be charged with you only you Lord God yes, Lord. Lord God we send the fire of the Holy Ghost yes. upon every root of evil ah, we send the fire of the Holy Ghost yes. upon every root of evil Lord God and then we declare we declare that your word shall be prayed that your name shall be praised, that you shall be lifted up, Lord God, in every corner, in every place of our lives, Lord God, in our lives, in our marriages, Lord God, in the hearts, Lord God, of our beloved one, your name shall be praised, your name shall be exalted, Lord God, I lift, Lord God, my wife, I lift, Lord God, my children, my family, my mother, my father, my brothers and my sisters, I lift them up a bit so you God and I pray the Lord God penetrate the heart penetrate the mind penetrate the soul penetrate the spirit penetrate them Lord God seize them Lord God trust from them Lord God change them Lord God I call for the change 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 let the change arise let change come let transformation seize them Lord God we need your transformation right now we need your transformation right now. Shift the mindset. Shift the understanding. Shift the mindset. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every barriers that was up to this day preventing them to see you. Preventing them to see you. We break them down in the name of Jesus. We release the scale that was upon their eyes that caused them not to see. We release the scales that were upon their heart that caused them not to understand. We cause it, Lord God, to fall to fall, to fall, to fall, to fall, to fall. What about the bad about so bad? The bad is so bad. What about the bad? The bad is so bad. 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 Your soul, body, body, your spirit of rejection that has entered the heart of men, your spirit of rejection that has hidden in the heart of men, your spirit of rejection, I command you out in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you leave in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you leave in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I pray your story be the bakata. Lord, let your word be true. Let your word be stronger. Let your name be true. Let your name be stronger. Let your name be true. Let your name be stronger. Let your name be true. As a strong tower, I run unto you, Lord God, and I lay down my family. I lay down, Lord God, all of my burdens, all of my worries, all of my concerns. I say, God, thou shalt recover us. I say, God, thou art the God of my salvation. 
Zion. Esebra Sokatakata. That's the reason why I say. Praise his name. Praise his name. You got to praise his name. Praise his you got to see the praise. Praise his name. Ah, bah, 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 so you got to see the victory. Praise his name. Praise his you got to see his praise his name. Praise his I say praise his name. Praise his name. Oh, sorry, I say I will shout my faith through praise his name. Praise his name. I will shout my faith through praise his name. 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 Praise oh, praise his name. Praise I said, praise his name. Praise his name. Oh, say, I said, praise, praise his name. Praise his name. He's worthy. Praise his name. Praise his name. I said, praise his name. Praise his name forevermore. I said, I said, praise his name. 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 I praise your name, Lord Jesus. I praise your holy name. Forevermore. 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 You see? Praise when the Christ came in the Praise hold on a second hold on hold on Praise you see when Jesus Christ entered the boat the boat he entered in the presence of Christ did not stop the, the, the storm to the wind continue and listen very carefully the presence of Christ in the boat of the apostle did and oh Jesus he was in the boat but there was a storm he was with them, but there was a storm. He was right there with them, but there was a tempest. And they look and they say, what is going on? We know we have Christ. We know we have the savior. We know we have the commander. We know we have the ruler. We know he is on our side, but there is a storm. Now listen. What he was trying to do was to cause them to shout out their faith. Because prior being now, prior the storm, the word of God says, he told them, let us go unto thee. Are you going to the other side? I mean, do you want to go on the other side? Yes. Do you want to go on the other side? Yes. Do you want to go on the other side? Yes. Before the storm started, he told you, let us go on the other side. Somebody go on the other side. Going on the other side. Before the storm started, yes. he said, let I us go on the other side. I am going. Hey. Yes, I am going. And listen, it was on your way to the other side that the storm started. Yes. But before the storm started, he told you, I will never leave you. I will never... The same one who told you, I will never leave you nor forsake you, is the same one who is in your boat. And that same one says, before any storm started in your life, I have told you, let us go on the other side. I don't care about your sins. I don't care about the curse of your life. I don't care about it. I tell you, let us go to the other side. He only said, let us go on the other side. Because the side that was over there, there was the things that was holding you down. The side that was over there was unable to cause you to rise. The side that was over there was not able to cause you to see. So he said, my child, let us go on the other side. 
and he was in the boat. And as he was in the boat, the storm started. And when the storm started, the disciples asked themselves, but master, are you not caring? Have you ever been in a situation where you ask yourself, but God, can you hear me? But Lord, are you hearing my cry? But Lord, when are you going to do something? When are you going to shift the atmosphere? When are you going to change my situation? When are you going to break, Lord God, those things that are holding me down? Hey, are you hearing me, God? Yes. But this is what he did. He slept. Why? Because he wants you to demonstrate that your peace is in him, not in the circumstances. Say, my peace, my peace is in him, is in you, Lord. Not in the circumstances, not in the circumstances. My peace, my peace is in you, is in you, Jesus. Not in the circumstances, not in the circumstances. He wanted you to show, he wanted you to see, he wanted you to understand that you can be at peace in the midst of a storm. Amen. You can be at peace in the midst of an adversity. So he wanted to teach us before we go to the other side, we cannot carry on the mindset of the past. We got to carry on the peace of the Lord. Because you see, we are nigh. We need the peace of God so we see clearly. Hallelujah. The storm comes to distract. The storm comes to only get your sight out of the one that is in your boat. The storm comes only to make you believe that it's too difficult. The storm comes because it wants you to think that this cause, this situation is too tough. But Jesus Christ said, I'm going to sleep, sleep with me. I, I'm going to rest, rest with me. For the strong tower he is, for a strong man unto me he is. When I run unto him, I find rest. Then he does not stop there. You see, he does not let the storm go on for a long time. He does not allow the storm to go, even when he sees that his disciples did not operate in the faith in which he gave them. Are you following? Even when he knew that the disciples did not operate in the faith in which they were supposed to operate, he said, I'm gonna get up for them. Because if I let them go, if I let them drown, if I let them fall, if I let them fail, my name will not be glorified. So for the sake of my name, I will rise and I will break the tempest, I will break the storm, I will break the resistance, I will break it and I will let my name be exalted. So he takes on himself to rise. He takes on himself to stand up. He takes on himself to say, listen, my children. Listen, my sons and my daughters. Listen, my people. My name is a strong tower. And the righteous run unto it. And they are saved. So he said, you storm. Somebody say you storm. You storm. Somebody say you storm. You storm. You tempest. You tempest. You storm. You tempest. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you hear the still wind of the Lord in your spirit? Making you know that not only he is in control, but he has it in control. Not only he is in control, but he has it in control. Listen, children of Jesus Christ. There are times when our own lives, our own effort fail us. But he says, before I ask you to go on the other side, 
I know there will be a storm. Before I ask you to move on the other side, I know it will be a storm. I know that uh, the circumstances will not work well for you. But I did not want you to look on the circumstances. I wanted you to look on me. Even if uh, I feel and you feel like uh, I'm not moving, I want you to know that I will always move. Even when the time comes, when you don't see the power manifested of the supernatural that you are waiting for, I want you to know, I will always move. Because the covenant you sign with me is because I am a covenant keeper. I am a covenant keeper. I am faithful and that faithfulness coming from my heart and I am God. I am God over all. So I will not let you down. I will not let you go. I will lift your head up. I will cause you to rise again. I will cause you to walk again. I will cause you to sing again. For my name is a strong tower. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name forevermore. Somebody sing, say. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name forevermore. I cannot hear you shout. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name forevermore. I said praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name forevermore. Listen. Listen. The time when the Lord Jesus said, give thanks in everything. You know why? You know why, right? When he said, in everything, give thanks. You know why? Because this goes with the same word that he says, when you pray, believe that you have it, and you will have it. So the thanksgiving that you are giving is not because the situation is bad. The thanksgiving you are giving is not because the situation is good. The thanksgiving is like, oh. The thanksgiving you are giving is because he's faithful. Are you following what I'm saying? You are not giving thanks because the situation changed. You are not giving thanks because the situation is a, is a getting decayed. You are giving thanks because he is faithful. He is faithful. And the faithfulness of the Lord shall not depart from you. Regard, look, look, look. Even when you were in the, in, the, in the worst of the sins, he went there to find you. See, see, in my past, I did not want Jesus right. In my past, I was running from him. He still sent the big fish. He swallowed me. Are you what I'm saying? He brought me back. He said, you are my servant. You are my child. I have anointed you for the nations. I have anointed you for his own. So, why are the enemy is a, is a, is moving all his uh, the tentacles? How we say that? Tentacles. Why are the enemy is uh, moving all around and uh, making all those gymnastic? The Lord says, just watch, just watch, because it will not take ten years. in the book of Mark that when he rose he commanded the storm and the word of God said that he made deadly straight away immediately the storm ceased and desisted and there was a great peace there was a great silence there was a great peace there was a great silence then the Bible said that immediately they were arrived at the shore. There are days that you feel that you have lost. There are years that you feel that you have lost. There are weeks and months that you feel that you have lost. 
and then you're telling yourself, oh, if I knew, oh, if I had started, oh, if I had begun, God says, I can redeem the time. I can redeem the time. Listen, the faithfulness of God means what? It means that while you are God, while you are lost, while you are perdue, He keep on building on your wealth. Because the faithfulness does not depend on who you are. The faithfulness depends on who He is. You see, the Father, when He had a son, prodigal son, the prodigal son went out, but the Father kept on reserving beef and meat and cow and, and, and sheep. Are you following what I'm saying? Throughout all the time, the father had to feed the servants that he had. He had to feed the people to whom he was generous. But he kept something because he knew, regardless of the time he's gonna take, the son gonna come back. But when he comes back, he must be a feast. He has to be a feast. So the Lord faithfulness gathered and garnered all the things and them up for the day of salvation. And when that day arrived, God says, this is my son, come in. This is my daughter, come in. This is my beloved, come in. Because he says that before you were born, I knew. I knew you and I have appointed you. Are you following what I'm saying? I knew you. And I have appointed you. Now we tell you, I want us to go on the other side. I want us to go on the other side. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm walking and going on the other side with you. Moses says, Lord, if your presence does not go before me, I will not go. If your presence does not precede me, I will not go. And God says, but you see, even before you ask for it, my presence went ahead of you. Are you what I'm saying? And I say, let us go on the other side. Let us go on the other side. There is a people on that other side that is awaiting for the manifestation of who you are in me. There is a people on the other side that is awaiting for the manifestation of who you are in me. So the Lord says, let us go on the other side. The accumulation of all the things that you have lost. The accumulation of all the things that the conquer worm has eaten. The accumulation of all the suffering and the cries that you have shed. The accumulation of all the tears that you have had. Of all of the, 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 the brokenness, the brokenness inside of you, you had. He said, listen, you shall recover it. all." He said, listen, my beloved. You shall recover it all. The word of God says that, that when a thief is still left, if he's found, he has to pay even seven times. The enemy has stolen from you. The enemy we have to pay seven times. Are you for what I'm saying? The enemy we have to pay you back seven times. Because this is the decree and the sentence of God towards what the adversary have done and has done in your life. He says, adversary, you demons, you devil, you witches, you wizards, you sorcerers, I command you pay seven times everything that you have taken from my son, from my daughter. For this is me, I am the Lord God, the one that delivers. In your 
your own word, just thank him. Just thank him. Just thank him. For his faithfulness, just thank him. For his faithfulness, just thank him. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. For I did not see, but you saw. I did not hear, but you heard. I did not know, but you knew. And you brought me out. You brought me there. You brought me further. You brought me up. I thank you, God. I thank you, Lord. 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 I see your faithfulness all around me. I see your faithfulness all around me. I thank you, God, for holding me, for holding my hands, for holding me, for holding my hands, for holding me, for strengthening my feeble knees. I thank you, Lord, that you cause me to advance. I thank you, Lord, that you cause me to rise again. I thank you, Lord, that you cause me to see again. I thank you, Lord, that you cause me to hear again. I thank you. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Of Jesus Christ. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name forevermore. Praise his name. Praise his name. How we praise your name. Praise his name forevermore. Praise his name Did it, 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 it,